Hi, good morning. So, in this tutorial, we will learn the pandas data frame dot abs method. Google Colab will be used for the execution of the scripts. It's very to use for anyone who doesn't know. Also, they can execute their code at Google Colab and it's very easy for data analysis. So now let's come to the tutorial. So what is this ABS method? It is a built-in model of Pandas module and it returns a data frame with absolute numeric value of each element. But one thing you have to remember this function is only applicable when all elements are numeric. The absolute also sometimes referred as modules to understand the abs method we will solve examples and get the absolute value of the data frame as well as for the complex numbers we will demonstrate with proper examples so let's run the syntax of the data frame dot abs method the syntax required to use this function is abs x here x can be any number can be positive or negative or zero so this function will return a positive zero so first example will be getting the absolute value of a data frame so first example will be getting the absolute value of a data frame with complex numbers so we will see an example where we will get the absolute value series elements with complex numbers. So what will the ABS method returns only the magnitude part of a number. For a complex number the absolute value will be we will see with an example. So as mentioned we are using Google Colab. So here we will use the pandas spd and here define the data frame df with complex numbers and having values as we can see 1 plus 1 to 2 are ij minus 22 minus 12 columns abc so we are painting the data frame and we are printing absolute values of data frame so here we can see for the b and c column it is using non-negative integers and the for a and b it is giving that absolute value of the complex numbers based on the conjugate and So it's 1.56205 and 2. Zero. As we have already seen the complex numbers, now we will see the absolute value of a data frame with some random values of a data frame and next we will see the absolute volume of particular column of it we will see the second so we have created a data frame using pandas importing pandas spd and then we are creating data frame column 7 abc so we are painting the data frame painting the df and painting the absolute value so for a column to be we are getting absolute value 2322 B negative integers are converted to positive value only modulus value and C also same complex we have seen and for particular column as we have seen the third case so we are taking a data frame having four values in their column 
So F is the column A. So if you want to do that, you have to just write the DF third bracket column with single quote, then calling the ABS method using dot ABS first bracket and then closing the print statement. Similarly for the other columns also. Means for DFC. So here we will get the output as shown below the data frame will be as abc and then if you want to have value then 23 2.00 0.25 2.00 then data type float and same printing value 0 0.250 85 4.256 and one value was missing in that column so that value was written as so one value was not available so that value was shown as none we are printing the absolute value it is showing that so hope this explains the absolute method with different examples for complete data frame with complex numbers and a particular column if you find this useful please 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 subscribe to my channel and watch my videos to get more knowledge on the same topic thank you have a great day